Hey guys, Mika here, and I am back finally. I know I've been way off the map, but I have come back to show you my Glam Bad Plus. It is feeling really hefty, so I'm pretty sure I probably went overboard on the add-ons, and I might have some point redemptions in here. I'm not completely sure. To start out, if you like this video, clips, clip it, clip it, click subscribe and um, the little bell to get notified. And um, yeah, helps me out, keeps you entertained. I think it's a great option for us both. So uh, do it if you like it. If you hate it, just move on and we'll be good. We don't have to meet each other again. Otherwise, uh, those of you who don't know, the Ipsy glam bag they have a $12 this is the full size one for $25 a month you get five full size items and a bag they are saying that something's going to change um I don't know if they've made that I'm pretty sure they haven't made that announcement yet but I'm not sure um as of this video right now as I'm filming they have not said what the change is going to be but I'm pretty excited about that to find out what it is I think we're going to have more choice items but yes, if you haven't tried it, I love it. I'm a big Ipsy fan. There are going to be times that are hit and miss. Um, but all in all, it's always worth the value to me of the $12 and the $25 box. So um, let's get right into it. So first of all, let me, without pulling out things, yeah, I'm going to guess since this only comes with five full-size items, I did go a little nuts and I do see my redemption in there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I can just kind of, I'm going to pull out the stuff that I bought as add-ons and I can show you at the end, but I'm just going to start with what came in the bag. So first let's start with the theme. It's take a break. This is really cute actually, but I am disappointed. I feel like they have not been showing the prices anymore on here. Maybe it's because they list them all on their website now, but I do like having the little card that tells you what the price is. Um, and that was a lot of extras I bought, so I will show them at the end. Um, so first of all, we'll go with my choice item. I'm really excited about this because I know it sold out in like five minutes. Not sold out, but the choice items. They did have it as an add-on later, but I believe that that sold out as well. So, me and packaging were not friends. All right, guys. So, this is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I will be completely honest. I bought this because I read that when you put it on your face, it turns your face blue. And then when it's all absorbed the blue goes away and i was like well that sounds fun but the more reading i've done um i've heard really good things i kind of want to do like a before and after because people say that you'll see results within like a couple weeks sunday riley tends to have yucky smells in comparison to like the sulfur masks and stuff this isn't bad it just smells like black licorice but they do get results. So there's that. And it's a nice size. Um, 1.18 fluid ounces. I would think that's bigger because that feels big. Um, and I can look up the value as well. I believe this one is $105 though. Next, I got this fun palette. I think the brand Itsy. It, I honestly don't know. I have not heard of it but I have seen decent reviews on it um I think what I was most excited about about this one is that it comes with a magnetic palette and I don't have one yet surprisingly so here's this oh this is really cute I'm assuming we take these out of here and put them right into the palette maybe this is going to take me a little time. Let's let's watch this out real quick too just to see. All right. 
Um, I'll do the four swatches. I'm going to redo that one because I didn't dig in as much. There's four colors in here. I do feel like, okay, so here's the colors right here. Let's see if you can see those. They're nice. The only thing about them is, let's see, if you could see my vanity right now, you may scream. It is, it's a, it's quite the wreck. Can't find what I'm looking for. I got a palette recently from Ipsy. I'm going to keep looking while I talk. And it was very similar in the colors. I wonder if it's behind here. Oh, I think I feel it. Okay. Yes. All right. So there's the colors on these. Here I got this colored rain palette from Ipsy. Um, they're very similar shades. There's that gray and that pink. Um, but I will use it. I will definitely use the palette or the magnetic palette part of this. So that I'm excited about. Next we have in here. All right, this is the Real Her I Am Amazing 24 hour eyeliner. I, I think it's probably just like a cream eyeliner. I did just get one last month, but as everyone knows if you follow Ipsy stuff, like there is, how do I put it? You will see a lot of eyeliners and mascaras. So hope if you love eyeliners and mascaras, like this is, you'll never buy another one again. So, and this is nice. It's retractable. Let's see. You'll kind of, it's got a nice point and it's actually really dark. So I do like that and I will definitely use it, but I am going to put it in my save for later over here. I've got, and then we have the item I was probably least excited about here is just so you know, I'm not that nice packaging opening person. I'm just going to, there we go. Is the Yensa super eight lip oil. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put that on and see how it looks. I heard that it doesn't dry down well and it doesn't, it feels kind of like an on the surface kind of lip thing. So we'll see if that's really the case. And then the last is the Tarte C Surfer Curl Mascara. I do really love the Tarte C line. I've liked almost all of it and they're like H2O stuff. I've really loved all of that, so I am excited, and I have heard people ranting and raving about this, so I am very anxious to try it. I love this, like, little matte blue packaging. That is pretty hefty. Like, I have tiny hands, but that's pretty hefty, so, um, yeah, anyways, those are five items. Oh, and I totally spaced. I should show this first, but here's the bag. This is different than I would have imagined. It's kind of like see-through and um, like silicone-y. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I like it. I'm digging it. Um, it smells, oh my gosh. It smells just like a beach float, like a pool floaty. I kind of I kind of like that smell. So that's fun. I like do feel the need to look and put it on my arms like water wings, but that's fun. I do enjoy that. So I'm going to go ahead and try this stuff on real quick, and then I'll show you the rest of my goodies I grabbed. I do not have the longest eyelashes, so it would be nice to have something that does make them really prominent and, you know, ignore the fact that I like when I put on my mascara. All right, actually, this is really pretty because it adds a lot of volume. Oh, <laughs> adds a lot of volume without clumping. I think I might made my hair black. Yeah, okay. I like this. I do like this. I think it looks really nice. Let's see how it does on those lower lashes. 
not bad. It's not too clumpy. And it's not too hard to work with. So that's actually really nice. I will be using this mascara quite a bit. I do hate how many I open at a time because I want to genuinely try it and see if I like it. But I do really like it. So I have my choices. And then let's try this lip oil. I did, I don't know if I had gloss on. Might have had gloss on. Might have made it go away when I ate. All right, so it is very, very oily. It does, I mean, I know it's a lip oil, but it does feel like putting like olive oil on your lips or when you eat a greasy pizza. But we'll give it that, it's giving me this nice shine. And it smells like watermelon. I do like watermelon. So that is my bag. Um, I can do the math and figure out the value. Let's see real fast. Okay, I am back. And if my camera is a little moved, it's because I couldn't find a pen and I ran around looking for it. But I've got the prices on everything. So the palette here says it is a $60 value. Now you can decide if this is worth $60. Would I pay $60? No. But is it worth the $25 I paid? Yeah, definitely. Then it says that the mascara is a $23 value, which I can fully understand being tart and being obviously a great formula. Next, our lip oil. it retails for $28. Um, we'll just, we'll leave you to see how you feel about that. The liner, wow, I am real unorganized today. The liner, oh, that's not it. It retails for $16. Oh yeah, I put it away. I remember that now. Retails for $16. And the Sunday Riley Night Oil uh, retails for $105, as I thought. So that brings our total to a $232 value. And they only promise you, I think, $120, $125 maybe tops. So I think that was really great. It was a great value. I... I do know, like, a lot of times I look and I'm like, ah, I didn't like anything I'm getting. And then I, like, have to let it sink in and I have to look at the values and the reviews. And I find that I'm really happy with it. So definitely always try what you get. Um, I'm kind of happy with how pretty this looks. So I will probably use it. And so I'll give it that. Um, for my add-ons, if you are done here, whatever... See ya. Thanks for visiting. <laughs> but if you want to continue with me here and see my add-ons, um, here's what we got. I got the Skin Regimen. It is a cleansing cream. I have used their Night Detox and I'm obsessed. I will buy it in these little samples because it's a little redonk, but um, it is really good. So I was excited to use their cleansing cream. I also added on the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer by Ciate London. I haven't tried any of these items. I got this um, lipstick, super fun. I don't always like good in berries, but I was very drawn to it. It is, it is the beauty for real, and it's this fun dark berry color. So I'm looking forward to trying that on. I'm, I'm going to put a little on, just a little bit. Oh, okay. She's all right. She's not blended at all. That oil is fighting it. 
And no, I don't feel like it's one of those colors that looks ridiculous on me. But definitely don't put lipstick over over lip oil. That doesn't quite like each other. But the color is okay. It actually looks nice with what I got. But I tend to think that when I wear these colors, I kind of look like a little girl who got into her mommy's makeup. And if I do, please let me know down below so I cannot wear this again. Um, I have tried the Scone Tattooed Liner. Um, and this will be going in my later because I do own it and it is one of my favorite liners. It's very easy to use and flexible. I was really excited to see, even though they're not like vibrant colors, um, as you can maybe tell, I like colored liners for my um, waterline. And Pixie by Petra had a two pack for $3 as an add-on item. You get access to their add-ons when you get your bag reveal. And the lowest price ones are $3. And this was actually two of them for $3. There's kind of like a copper and like a darker green. And I don't have any colors like that. So I am looking forward to that as well. And then for my redemption, I got this Hey Honey Show Your Glow Beauty Mask. And I had to grab this because my best friend is like, oh, I just rene redeemed and got this. And I was like, oh, so did I know. So, and then the last thing is this Violet Boss Creme Brulee palette. They are such beautiful fall colors. Um, I'll swatch out a couple here. This would be the cutest little like Thanksgiving palette. I felt pretty lucky to snag this for like 1800 points. So uh yeah anyways that was our box today i'm really excited to play with all of this i'm really happy to share it with you guys again if you liked my video you know like it subscribe click the little bell thing and we can keep hanging out like this um if i scared you say la vie maybe we'll meet again Anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day.